far. Hey, who is that? Get her!
people of the Pit Village. I come as a representative of the Adherents. I fought off the War Axe. It's safe now. A young girl like you? Did you really get rid of the War Axe? Tell us your name first, outsider thief. Wait, I'm not a thief. Are you Avalon? I'm a warrior of Anbari's Northwind Legion, representing Minerva's adherents. <laughs> Minerva sending an outsider? Ridiculous. It'll take more than that to trick me. Look, I have proof. What is this nonsense? Looks like Minerva's mind has gone as off kilter as my own. Tell me, where are you from? What magic did you use to gain her trust? She doesn't trust me. I'm just helping her as part of a deal. Yeah, that's more like the Aristoi I know. I hoped Marble would send someone, but he gets more useless by the day. All right, outsider, what should I call you? Hilda. All right, Hilda, I'll find a use for you, in honor of Minerva. So, do you need me to explain what's going on here? Out with it! I'll have to go to the mine myself to investigate the cause. I don't expect you to get rid of the anomaly, but at least figure out what the thieves have done. 
Oh, and kill them while you're at it. All of them. You wouldn't show them mercy just because they're fellow outsiders, would you? Tell me what they look like first. When they arrived, they were dressed in outlandish green and brown clothes with their symbol on it. Scouts from the mine reported that their leader's an old man with gray hair and white eyebrows. Yeah. Pretty sure I know who they are. Therefore, 
I've prepared a field outside the canteen so you can spar without fear of causing an explosion. <laughs> All right, on to the next person. Cause is my witness. I have increased everyone's salaries starting today. This is what I've been working hard to achieve since the mine reopened. I know a lot has happened since my father's death, and the mine was abandoned for a time. But I'm back here now because the mine means a lot to my family, far more than my own personal struggles. My father, Hephaestus, valued the rights of slaves most among all people. There are rumors that he tried to divide the Aether system, but I believe everyone who has worked in the mine knows that's not the truth. Equity is the only thing my family cares about. Everyone has the right to pursue happiness. As long as you work hard, everyone has the opportunity to be promoted and even become eligible for citizenship. Other than my father and Senator Serene, I have seen no Aristoi fit to be role models. I will stay true to what my father stood for as I fight for better treatment for all of you and pass on his ideals to future generations. I, Eumenides, son of Hephix, swear it by the gold olive.
scholar, Jason. I've been informed that we suffered heavy losses in the mine. And that once they were inside, the amulets failed, leaving many to be affected by that damn force. We are still making progress, my lord. I assure you. We now know so much more about the voice's power and the monsters it controls. That's all? You should have brought back something more valuable. I didn't risk our elite troops for such trivial information. My lord, the amulets don't work the way you think they do. Then how do they work? Specifically, why is it that the amulets retrieved by our dead have a magical resonance that's different from before they were issued? You're the one responsible for keeping the amulets working. Yet every time you check them, there are problems. The problems cause me great concern. For example, not only could they fail to protect against magic, but they might even be storing it. I... I'll take that as your confession. Was it worth it? Trying to control my soldiers with the amulets? My lord, you... There is honor in sacrifice for a cause. But this, you treated these good men as your guinea pigs. I will inform Petrus that you will personally make up for the stardust we require. It is truly the least that you can do. My lord, please! Repent for your transgressions. Take him! you causing trouble in the mine. Whoa! It's been, what, two years? I didn't even recognize you. Oh, and hey, call me slightly. I get nervous when people use my real name. I'm okay with you being nervous. What the hell just happened? Is this gonna affect the bounty on my head? Quit being a smart ass, Shay. Just answer me. All right. I threw the smoke grenades to stop those guys from trying to kill me. Not at you, all right? Who wants to kill you? Listen, I know you really want to arrest me. I get it, really. But first, I gotta tell you what's going on in the mine. Just listen, please. You're in no position to be bargaining with me. But I'm so good at it. Look, a warrior of the North Wind Legion wouldn't be around these parts for no reason. The more information, the better, right? <sighs> Ugh. 
Why are the goblins back in Aphis? Tired of the Northwind Legion cleaning up after your antics? Please, stop calling what we do antics. It hurts my feelings. The King forces us to give tribute, which is what got him cursed in the first place, but we're more than willing to take up the responsibility. Responsibility for what? To return to Aphis and help the King lift the curse. Oh, I didn't know that the notorious goblins were so kind-hearted. Hey, there's a lot that you don't know. My boss, Old Whitebrow, believes that the way to remove the curse is in the mine. We've made a lot of new discoveries here. All right, let's just say that I believe your lies for just a second. You're still a criminal in the eyes of the law. I can't ignore that. Ah, of course. I'm well aware of that. But that's the law of the Ambari, which doesn't apply here. What's more, now's probably not the best time to arrest me. Where are the others? And where's your boss, this old white brown? Don't look at me like that. They aren't off pillaging valuables, for now at least. Things have gotten a bit awkward, you see. Uh, they're the ones trying to kill me. What do you mean? We ventured even deeper into the mine than last time. Old Whitebrow was pretty excited. But after a couple of days, there was a terrifying roar from within the pit. The whole ground shook. Then we heard a strange voice, and... Well, they haven't been themselves since. They either went completely blank and expressionless, or they just started attacking each other. It was terrifying, seeing one's comrades turn to strangers before your very eyes in that dark, narrow cavern. So you ran away. So I ran away. And then I mistook you for one of the ones chasing me. You're all idiots. You have no idea what you've gotten yourself into. All right, spare me the yapping. You think you know this place better than we do? I know better than to barge in like you did. Also, don't act tough when you're at the tip of someone's blade. It's not a good look. So what now? Could you maybe, um, come rescue Old Whitebrow with me? I don't care about the others, but I can't leave Old Whitebrow behind. I have to save him. And I don't trust the other goblins waiting outside the village for, uh, various reasons. So, I don't want to send a distress call. Ugh, you goblins are always trouble. Don't say that. Please, help me. I'm risking my life here begging you. You want us to work together? Are you serious? Oh no, not work together. I'm requesting, nay, beseeching a great, powerful, and wise warrior of the Northwind Legion to help me with this small task. Or do you plan to capture me and take me back? Or maybe tie me up here and face those insane goblins by yourself? Shut up. No matter what I do, you'll still find a way to go back and save old Whitebrow, right? Hey, great minds think alike, am I right? Give me your weapon. I'd rather go into the mine with you than let you go running off by yourself. But if you try anything funny, I'll end you right there on the spot. Sounds like a bad deal for me. Whatever, it's better than fighting by myself in the mine. I'll follow you closely, and I promise to behave myself. Let's go then. I'm so excited. Slightly and the Legion Warrior united again. Shut it.